Now let's look in details what is an attribute view. If you want to see only text and numeric characters, with numeric characters I do not mean quantity and amount, I mean the num c means 1, 2, 3, 4 will be the character there, not the numbers. Uh, so if you want to see only text and numeric characters, then attribute view is your choice. Usually in SAP, the material numbers or the customer ID or the vendor ID are present in one master table and their corresponding text like name, addresses, contact informations are there in different table. So we have a master table for the ID and we have the master table for the addresses and the uh, texts uh, or the names. For example, the material number is in table Mara while the material description is in table MAKT. So when you want to join these two master tables to display the dimensions, that means the text attributes and the characteristics of the material number, then attribute views have to be created. Please do not confuse numeric characters to numbers like quantity, uh, amount, currency value. Okay, Material vendor customers may have numbers like 100101, but it is still a character, still a text, it is still a num c. So, you can use them in attribute views. As a rule of thumb, numbers are not for attribute view. So, just keep in mind that we do not deal with numbers in attribute views. So, the attribute views are created for dimensions. That is, we have been telling you in this um, course, attribute views are only for the master data and the master data are nothing but the dimensions. So, the dimensions means the assets to the company which do not change that often. That means, uh, your employee ID will not change for your company or the material number for a particular material will not change so will the description so it will not change usually it might change but usually they do not change therefore they are called as master data and the joins with which we view these tables is the attribute view